you're going to come across a lot of relationships in life and um in some situations you're going to fuck up um you're going to make a lot of mistakes you're going to say things you didn't mean uh, you're going to do things you shouldn't have done um and that's just a part of life but just remember you're not a bad person parts of you just need improvement all right I just don't think anybody is just a hundred percent bad person. All right, no one makes wakes up in the morning and says, "I'm just a bad person." The path to hell is paved with the good intentions. Okay, so I think a lot of a lot of time I spent a lot of time um, in past relationships where I thought I've done something that was bad or cruel or mean to the female that I was with. And um, I had a lot of regret for the way I treated somebody in that moment. Because in that moment, I was mad. In that moment, I was angry. Um, so with that type of emotion, I'm not thinking logically about the situation. I'm not thinking about, hey, this is a human being across. Just like me, just like I'm a human being, I'm seeing out of my eyes. This other person across from me is a human being. They have their own little life in their own little world. So the way that I'm acting towards them, I just have to ask myself, like, I don't think that was the right approach. So with that being said, you just got to understand that you're going to make mistakes. When you, uh, when you succeed, you party. When you fail, you ponder. Ponder meaning you sit back and you think. So just sit back and analyze the situation, analyze what happened, analyze what you said, analyze what you did, and go, okay, what parts of me need improvement? Because going through life, it's a constant improvement process and nobody's ever like perfect. And, um, you just have to take the consequences that happen and go, okay, this was a cause and effect relationship. You did one thing or they, that they did something and you reacted a certain way. So you have to analyze that and go, okay, well, how do I get better? How do I reapproach this situation? Because I'm not a bad person. All right. For a long time, you can really sit in some guilt for a long time thinking you're a bad person and really like you start to devalue yourself as a human being. You start to look at yourself like I'm an animal or I'm a bad person. I'm, I don't deserve to be here or I don't deserve this or I don't deserve that. And that's not the case. It's just that you just need to work on certain parts of yourself. Understand what triggers you. Understand how did I even get in this situation in the first place? Okay. And once you understand that, <coughs> you understand, okay, well, next time I'm not going to get myself in this situation. I'm going, before we even get into this situation, I'm going to just avoid that situation altogether. Then this is not going to, this is not, this doesn't have any potential to trigger me to a point where I react in the way I react, where it wasn't a good outcome that I wanted. All right. So, again, you're not a bad person. You just have certain parts of your personality or your character that you need to work on yourself. And that just takes being truthful with yourself. If you're genuinely, if you've been selfish with a lot of people, you need to say, well, you know what? I'm probably a selfish person. Or if you've been arrogant or cocky or, you know, um, didn't approach a situation well, just be honest with yourself. Be honest with you, be your own therapist and go, okay, well, is this going to help me long-term or is this gonna get me further long-term or hold me back, all right?